Dear Director General, dear Francesco, dear colleagues, good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank you very much for the commitment that Irene has demonstrated during such a difficult pandemic crisis. Producing our high quality analysis, building partnerships and projects and boosting intergovernmental cooperation is now more than ever essential and Irina confirmed to be able to advance programmatic activities and engaging with its members during this challenging time. Italy is very proud to be among the most committed member countries in the agency. We sit in the Council, we contribute to specific programs and initiatives, in particular the Italian cooperation contributes to the Climate Investment Platform and to the Desert to Power Initiative. We participate to all of the collaborative platform and we co-chair the one on offshore renewables and ocean energy. We regularly intervene in ARENA seminars and workshops. Italy is also very proud to speak any time as an EU member state, one of the most ambitious in terms of clean energy transition and fight for climate. While the pandemic crisis and the economic slowdown have gravely tested the global energy security, in reality, in certain parts of the world, especially in Europe, we, not, we did not actually suffer from an energy crisis. That is due to the growing quota of renewable energy in our energy mix and to the energy efficiency measures implemented particularly in the industrial sector. Renewable energy proves to be a quintessential factor of energy security energy access and economic resiliency and growth. The benefits for the entire Italian economy generated by the overall investment in renewable sources and efficiency corresponds to almost 3 billion euros over the last years. Not by chance, Italy ranks 8th worldwide as per renewable energy stalled capacity. Our country has committed to reach a carbon neutral economy by 2050. In this perspective, we are finalizing our long-term strategy, which will build upon the already existing National Integrated Plan for Energy and Climate, which sets tangible intermediate targets to 2030 in line with the EU objectives. 30% of renewables on total growth, final consumption, and 55% in the electricity sector, starting from the current 34%. We are actually working to set higher objectives in line with the growing and accelerated ambitions at the EU at the global level. We believe that the synergies between governments, the private sector and the international organization are all the more indispensable to fulfill our common goals. In Italy, for instance, we have the world's largest private renewable operator, Enel. In addition, in these very days, another Italian le uh, leading uh, energy company, ENI, will sign an MOU with Irina aimed at scaling up renewables in those countries which still rely excessively on fossil fuels. Another, another leading company, SNAM, will be contributing to the ministerial meeting on pathway to decarbonization through green hydrogen. As you know, dear colleagues, in 2021, Italy has the presidency of the G20 and will also be the partner of the UK in the COP26 on climate change. The G20 will be based on three pillars, people, planet, prosperity. In this respect, Italy profoundly relies on IRENA cooperation, especially in three important topics, oceans, marine energy and offshore renewables, sustainable hydrogen from renewable sources, and smart, sustainable energy cities. Besides, during the G20 presidency, we also have in-depth discussion on eradicating energy poverty and fostering universal access, thanks mainly to clean energy solutions. We will also focus on climate-friendly investments, where ARENA once more is in the front line of global action. I believe we have a significant fruitful year ahead of us, I'm looking forward to join hands with the ARENA member countries to recover better from the terrible, terrible pandemic that we have been experiencing and to work together for the success of the Italian G20 and of the COP26, acknowledging the inextricable link between the clean energy transition and the fight for climate. I thank you all.